Okay, I got myself a pair of uh, red eye. Dragons are supposed to have red eyes, right? <laughs> so the eye will be determined by the nose. So it should be right above the nose. Um, here because I still have to have some space for the the lines and I should make one more here or here okay once you think it is right so here I won't count what's the spacing because it all depends on the nose and how you sew the nose. If you sew it a bit more V-shaped, then the eyes would be nearer. Is that okay? Does it look? Does it look out of? Uh, I think this should be one stitch nearer okay I follow this one stitch nearer so before i add the stopper does it look like too near Because I'm not going to add the stopper first, I am going to sew the sides before I add the stopper. If not, it will interfere. There. It should be wider because I need space to put the color. Let me show you the earlier one. Here I did uh, yellow, white and blue. But since this is yellow, I'm going to use green instead. So I'm going to do green, white and blue. So you make the eyes kind of colorful, like a dragon. Oh yeah, I have not sold the jaw yet. The lower lips. Let's do the eye first. So now, you make sure this is at the right spot because after you sew, I'm gonna add the stopper and that's it. It should be about right because the horn is here and the nose is here. Okay, so now what I do is I would uh, the tail here, I would normally just leave it or in case you might accidentally pull it, you just higher knot to whichever tail you can find here and that way no matter how you pull this still stays inside okay let's start with the green it goes all the way up uh, here and you come back here Depending how wide you want it to be. If not, you can make it shorter. And you come back to this same spot. I can still do this now because I have not add stopper at the back. There's no stopper here yet. If you have add stopper, then it will interfere. And again, no matter what you how you sew, don't bring this along. And now, do ones here. So this is a critical part. You might not be seeing the green too much. Okay. I can still pull it out later with my needle it should look something like this 
and you can see some green parts of it so do not pull too tight now go to the other side and do the same so that's why I did not cut my yarn I leave it long so that I can do the other side as well you can do this first if you want that's the green part and you come down here don't pull too tight and not too loose and you check and see where is the line here I guess you just make one stitch first and you compare and if you think this is the right part the right spot and just take a look and see is it too near or too far if it's going to be like this i think this is further okay now let's redo that means I have to go maybe one stitch further this is actually art I mean like textile art <laughs> instead of drawing with your color pencil or crayon I'm drawing with yarn so this is optional if you do not want to do this you think it's kind of quite a hassle to do this and you just leave the eye as it is but I think by doing this it makes the dragon looks kind of grand right so just now I have pulled too tight so here I'm gonna pull back a bit this should go here and you come back to the same spot here and that's it three stitch three stitch and you will get the eye like this so you check and see if it's too low too high I think this is not right so once I get it right I'll come back to you and show you the other two color because once the first row is right the other two is just uh, you do it you stitch it on the same hole and just pull okay I think I got it right this time <laughs> now I'm going to do the white and same thing you go through the same hole Oops, be careful with all this tiny bits. Same thing. I'm gonna tie the white tail to just about any tail I can find here. Let's tie a knot. Do the same. This time it's easier because we are just doing the outline and now uh, we are going into the same stitch and make sure you do not pull too tight and the white has to be on the outer layer like this And slowly this green will go in. This one is gonna be out a bit. So long you can see you'll see a little bit of the green. It's okay. Do not have to be perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
make sure it's at the outer layer and not too not too tight and later when you add the stopper make sure you use your needle to kind of pull the green out a bit so long you can see a little bit of green it's fine and you do the same to the other side And see by the time we add the white, the green kind of like uh, squeezing together so there's no more gap in between. Just now it was like a bigger gap now. So once we add the blue, this gap will close in even more. Let's get some blue yarn. Same thing. Go back to the same stitch. Higher knot. Just grab any tail you can find here and just tie a knot. This is the part that I like most when there's no stuffing. I can tie a knot inside and not do it outside and push it in. And make sure you do not go through the white yarn nor the green yarn. And you make sure you leave the blue at the outer layer, outer corner. Okay, it comes back here. And now you see the eyes has three colors. And you bring your needle over to the other side and do the other eye as well so make sure this is at the outer layer and later don't forget to add a stopper <laughs> because after so much of sewing you might forget that you have not add any stopper yet so once you add your stopper here you kind of stop this part here stop the yarn from moving about you just bring your needle pull the green out a bit then add your stopper and do the same for the other eye okay now we're going to do the uh, lower jaw and because of this lower jaw it will look kind of smiley so the one with the tail is over this side. So I'm going to put as near to the nose as possible. I'll put my needle straight, go straight across. And I am going to make one stitch here. And see how it looks like. So you're gonna look like this. You should go right next to the nose, right below the nose. That it looks like it's proportionate, right? Okay, let me get this part inside first. This is the other tail. Just get it inside. And tie a knot with just about any tail I can find you don't have to tie it too tight just a loose knot will do because later we're gonna add stuffing anyway so you make sure this looks like this so does it look smelly if you have seen my lion dance the lion dance head the lion dance jaw does it does have teeth but i find that it doesn't look cute on a dragon so i didn't make the teeth it's just the lower jaw the lips so now once you have it right you know 
where it should be so just in case here make one more stitch in the same spot to hold it so that it won't go anywhere and make sure this one face downward like this and not close up you can if you want to do it this way it still looks like it's smiling if you want it to go down and it's best that you sew this part first sew the middle part first to kind of like hold it in place to know where it should be and you continue to sew the rest Oops, be very careful with this. And as you go along, and just take a look and see if this is what you want. Whether you want it higher or lower. And once I have this fastened nicely, we will start to do the kind of gill. I'm not sure if it's going to be called a gill for a dragon. <laughs> the flame here. I'll come back to you with that. Okay, now we're going to do this part. We have two sides here, one is the narrow one and one is the not so narrow. <laughs> the wider one is on top, the narrow one is at the back. It definitely has more than it should be because I want it to curl. In fact here it didn't curl much here, it curled more on the back. Nah, it's okay, at least it looks kind of natural. So here, it's based on the eye, as close to the eyes as possible, because it's going to curl, so it, it's like it's touching the eye. So I'm going to go for here, you get the red yarn to go through first, to kind of hold it down, so that we have a guide as to where it would end up. Here. Okay, this is the wider part so this red tail here just grab a tail any whatever tail you have inside here and just tie a knot and the last part do the same you make sure it's facing the right way and somewhere here you do not go too near the edge here because we still need to crochet so somewhere here make sure it does not curl the wrong way okay should be here same goes for the yellow tail Go through then you take a look and see if this is the right spot okay yep this is the right place and you grab this yarn this two tail and tie a knot with whichever tail you can find inside I'm sure there are plenty by now. Okay, just hide it inside. And this particular tail, the one for sewing. Just like the top part here, 
I'm gonna sew the exact same way. So here, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside first. Okay, pull it tight. And we are going to work our way up here. So you just take a look and see how you're gonna come, come here. It's going to slant a bit. So you just make one stitch here. Go through the gill. And poke it back into the same stitch. And we will hold it down. And take a look again. It should be somewhere here. From here to here. So this time, instead of grabbing the next stitch, grab one stitch away so that it will kind of curl in and go back into the same stitch. So let it curl a bit. So you will see that it will curl a bit and you continue. Go back to the same stitch. Make sure you grab more of it. Because if not, you will have too much here on top. So you grab more of it like this. Right, let me see. Okay. Purposely make it curl and poke it into the same stitch. You will kind of hold it down and it will curl like this. So you continue until you reach the top here and you will have a fine gill like this. Okay, now to do the moustache thing from this side of the nose. You make one stitch to this side make sure it hides underneath the nose and leave a tail here this is the moustache and from here make one more stitch over to the other side but onto the inside so that you won't see so much of it Okay, you make one stitch here on the inside. Make sure you can't see from the outside. So it's kind of lock, lock in. And you come back to this part here and pull out a tail. And you will have a moustache. And you see if it's too long or too short, give it a trim. And there you have it. I'm not sure if you can see this. So here, no matter how I pull, I have kind of locked it. So no matter how I pull, it won't come off. So you check and see if it's of the same length. If it's not, just give it a trim. <laughs> okay. And the head is not final yet. We still have to close it up and add stuffing to it. Okay, now let's do the last two rows. This is the second last row, row 18. I'm going to start by doing a single crochet. Let me add a marker. Oops, it's too thick. Okay. Let me add a marker. So you do one single crochet. Followed by a two together. Or you can call this a decrease. So you just do single crochet. 
and a decrease. So you're gonna have eight sets of it, and by the time you come back here, you should have sixteen stitches. Okay, now the last row, I'm going to do two together all the way. Just take the front loop and the front loop. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, this is one. And don't forget to add stuffing. Push the stuffing down. And just do two together all the way. So once I've come to this end here, I would cut the yarn. I will leave a bit of a tail, uh, quite a long piece, because this part here sometimes you get holes because of the stuffing. It will look like kind of expand so with this I'm gonna cover up the hole as much as I can unless if uh, you're gonna build a body here then you don't have to bother to cover up all these holes so now to seal this up I'm gonna sew on all the uh, front loop Just sew on all this front loop and you pull. So you see here you still have tiny holes. So I'm going to kind of cover it up. So when you sew, you make sure you follow back the stitch. If this stitch comes this way, you do the same. So that it looks as if it's just another single crochet. So here, it's kind of cover up a bit. So you just do this or fall over. See like this, this is too long. You can see the line here, so redo that. So just take one stitch, I mean like follow back the line, oh, sorry, I forgot it's from here, okay, and come back here, don't do it too tight. You can cross over to the other side and you slowly cover up all these holes. So yeah, cover up all the holes so it doesn't look like as if there are tiny tiny holes. So this is the end product. This is how it look like. A smiley dragon. I have two here. Which do you prefer? Purple or yellow? You can do other colors too, like green or blue. This can be any color you like. So thank you for watching. Hope you like this pattern. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next post.